And following up on the questions about January 6th, um, I know you've spoken to the decision by the White House Counsel's Office to tell the archives to hand over those documents. Has there been any concern or conversation about what might happen one day when the shoe's on the other foot and if another administration of the other party comes in and says there's an extraordinary circumstance? and they want to hand over documents that were deemed privileged by the Biden administration? I can assure you, Ed, that this president has no intention to lead an insurrection on our nation's capital. I um, anticipated that would be your answer almost word for word. Oh, no, um, good. But part of, I mean, you can understand that you're opening potentially a Pandora's box here. Actually, we don't, we don't see it that way. I understand why you're asking this question. Yeah. We talked about this a little bit last week as well. I think it is ultimately important for people to understand and remember that January 6th was an incredibly dark day, one of the darkest days in our democracy. Uh, there was an insurrection on our nation's capital. What we're talking about here is getting to the bottom of that. Shouldn't everybody want to get to the bottom of that? Democrats, Republicans, people who have no political affiliation whatsoever. I will reiterate that we're going to assess and review, as is standard in the process, the documents and uh, any efforts to exert executive privilege on a case-by-case -case basis. And we'll provide you updates on those as those processes proceed. And we will continue, as it relates to executive privilege uh, for other issues, to evaluate that on a case-by-case -case basis, as every White House has in the past. But I think if you look back at past presidents, Democratic and Republican, uh, there isn't really a precedent for what we're talking about with the select committee and what they're trying to get to the bottom of. And the uniqueness of that, I think, is important context. On 